Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well and hope you all had a good game last weekend. I certainly did at MK Dons versus Bradford, but more about that in a minute. Obviously, yeah, we're off and running. EFL season started last weekend. Premier League starts tomorrow if you're watching this on Friday. Yeah, so look forward to any of your sets if you're shooting in a Premier League game tomorrow. Make sure to pop a few images up on the Facebook group, Photography Chat. And if you haven't joined it yet, come along and join it and show us your work. Photography Chat and uh, not just sport, landscapes, portraits, aviation, trains, anything, motorsport. We want to get as much variety on the photography chat group as we can to get the get the uh, the comments going and, and the chat going on what settings we use for different disciplines and that. So yeah, I really enjoy it. Sorry if I haven't commented much lately, but flat out and the Facebook group sort of runs itself a bit now. I, I change the the banner image <laughs> as often as I can remember to do it, but yeah, it does run itself. I do keep an eye on the on the uh, the chats and that. So yeah, it's it's brilliant and. Uh, Thanks for contributing your work, guys. Absolutely fantastic. And, uh, yeah, it's ticking over nicely now, the group is. But, anyway, yeah, I was at MK Dons versus Bradford. First time I've been to MK Dons. And, MK Dons. and what a fantastic stadium. And it was such a shame. I'm not actually sure what capacity it is. If any of you guys know and shoot there often, let me know. But must be around 15, 18,000, I think. There was 7,000 there on Saturday. And it looked half empty, to be honest. And... And not great when you're still trying to collect stock photography, like I was talking about last week, with a lot of empty seats. And you'll see one or two examples that I've left in this set where if the seats were full, it would be a nice a nice image. But because they're empty, just, I don't know, it just didn't work very well. But um, anyway, we'll, we'll look into them in a minute. But uh, yeah, really good game. Bradford ended up winning 2-1 and uh, I stayed I stayed at the same the same end for both halves so I made sure I got plenty of stock of of each team and uh, yeah a bit of pot luck but but uh, yeah for the, certainly for the first month like I said last week it will be stock collection and as well as anything else that the game offers you know but anyway without further ado let's jump in and have a look at the set Right, so here we are, we're off, and uh, as always, as I approach every single game, always get some nice GVs of the ground, just to show the viewer where you are, so yeah, it's uh, say a lovely nice ground, and this, this MK Dons really does lend itself well, as you can see here, I've probably, I've, I've managed to, I've, I've composed it for every shot really, and uh, just a, a nice tighter angle of that one, and uh, it's great when the seats have got lettering on. And uh, you can really make make the most of it, and uh, yeah, it's obviously prominent in quite like that one. It's quite it's nice and clean, probably cleaner than that one, but uh, yeah, I like that one quite a bit. And uh, and then obviously I went I went down and got some nice lower angles, just to make sure that I composed both digital screens in, showing who was playing. And uh, one of the corner flag, good to get one of them, because again, if this is used anywhere and they want to write about MK Dons, they could always put some text in here. You see. So yeah, I always like to like to get a corner flag one if I can, just to, and obviously compose it so the goalposts obviously really soft because I'm at 2.8, just to emphasise the flag. But if they want to put any lettering in here, they can do. Or if they want to make it a portrait, they can do that as well. So yeah, always always leave your images open for a bit of text. Just the dugout, gen generic views, and then I was stood just looking and <laughs> this nearly caught me out. It nearly got me. It made me jump and started just popped out the ground and started started watering the pitch. So I thought, oh, there's an image. You can see MK Dons through the water. So, yeah, just another generic image, pitch being watered, you know. But uh, if ever there's a, a, a um, an occurrence where someone gets wet or something, at MK Dons, they could always use this image, you know. Every image can be used for a story, as and when. But, yeah, and then Bradford just, just looking at the pitch and coming out and just getting some... Generic stuff of the lads. Then I went back up into the stand just to get a nice, a nice high angle of, of the Bradford team. Just checking out the uh, the pitch and, and obviously got Dons in again, and uh, obviously went went tight in. And this is just just nicely balanced. This two two groups, uh, and then him just walking back. So it just it just balances the image out nice. And then I went for another widey, obviously, MK Dons with Bradford looking. Nipped outside like this half and half scarf, and I always, I always try and get a fan or someone 
looking at the phone because you could, you could always caption it, checks out the team or you know checks out latest news on on his team on his phone sort of thing. So yeah, so just just want to get what Don's and and Wimbledon look. So bit of an half and half scarf there if you like, but uh, yeah. So more fans arriving and sometimes it's hard to get. A natural fan, but these two were chuckling away, and it makes it good. They're not looking at me. If you can, if 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 there's fans smiling but not looking at you and getting eye contact, makes quite a nice image. Uh, and then these two old boys, look love these two old boys in with his shirt on and and bit of reflection. But uh, I was waiting a while, and he was as tight as you could get, really, too. And you've still got to the wall, and you've still got this little bit of a gap. But but I like them two old boys coming to the ground. I bet they've been going for years. And, uh, oh, and then just Stuart searching one of the Bradford Bradford fans and she she was laughing, so I thought I'd get that one. Now, this look at this old boy. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, even though he's looking at me, he wasn't smiling, so I haven't got a massive amount of reaction. And I just thought it worked quite well. He looks, you know, quite well to do, but yet he's got his Bradford shirt on. And, uh, yeah, I, I quite like that. He's good. And, uh, and then these lads coming a little fag hanging out his mouth. And, uh, yeah, brilliant. And he shouted, actually, oh, where can I see that, mate? And I said, oh, you can go and have a look on Shutterstock website. I'm sure you'll find it. Fans quite often ask where it is. Or I'll tell, if it's if it's fans with, with, with young children, I'll always say, just building up my set. You can see it here. And uh, most of them are happy with that. But, um, yeah, if, if there's ever children involved, I always make sure I talk to the parents to say, it's it's building up my set for the for the match documentary. You know, am I okay to use it, sort of thing? But we're all signed up anyway. So, and again, went for another reflection here, and uh, a bit further back, they obviously clocked me because they're smiling. Look, he did put his hands in the air like this, but he was just before I could just go. Well, I got one arm reflection up here, so a bit of a shame. But, but it's just something a bit different. And, and then these two lads walking in, and then back in, and a bit of warm up. Just generic stuff again. Quite like this. It's quite nicely balanced, I think, with this team waiting to take the kicks. But just plenty of warm-up. Just filled my boots, really, with the lads kicking. And um, I know you can't see balls, but, you know, they could be stretching or, or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I quite like these just for for uh, general, generic general warm-ups. And uh, and then this is the new owner. It was quite... Quite a, uh, a significant day at MK Dons because this is the previous owner, Peter Winkleman, and this is the new owner, Farhad Al Ghanim, I think, Farhad Al Ghanim. And, and Peter was saying, Come on, come over, come on, let's introduce you. And uh, just hiding his face a bit, but you can see his eyes, so I sent it. And uh, they had a bit of an embrace just there, and, uh, and then. Um, Farhad was introduced to the to the fans and uh, yeah, quite nice actually. And I must say thanks to I can't I can't I must apologise I can't remember your name. Um, club photographer said look, um, Farhad's going to be introduced to the crowd. Come and stand right in the dugout with me. So yeah, I was really really privileged and uh, he obviously he, he invited. Well, I think it was four or five photographers there. So he invited us all in right to the centre because he knew that he was going to applaud looking straight up. So yeah, thank you very much for allowing us to come into the dugout area and uh, yeah got one or two nice bits nice handshake there and then there Peter walks off and then left Far Fahid with uh, with the limelight sort of thing and um, yeah so filled my boots and he, he patted his chest which was nice and uh, unfortunately they got beat on his first game but anyway just a generic one of the ball there obviously new design for the, this EFL season so you can see Puma football there and whatever and and, and the badge and, and the Puma badge. So yeah, I just thought I'd grab that while I was in the dugout. And uh, managers coming out and a uh, bit of a handshake between the managers and then off we go. And then look, within four minutes, 38, and I'm not sure if they kicked off bang on time, first goal scored. And uh, and that incidentally, I was lucky enough, I'd just got set up and just got the 400 out and started following the play and, and straight like that, straight away. He scored, uh, Bradford scored, and this is actually a 1.6 crop, and I'm absolutely loving 1.6 crop on the R5. This is totally unedited, this is raw file, um, obviously a little bit of um, increased, uh, I think I've got a plus one or two on the contrast in camera, and uh, I've not been doing any editing just lately, just been locking the image, 
saving it and then only uploading my locked images. So it's the, the locked images are uploaded really quickly, card back in the camera or whatever, or swap for my spare card. And uh, yeah, so we got the goal and uh, got him celebrating, some nice celebrations. Unfortunately, he was far end of the pitch and I've got some examples of why I I obviously only sent these in because he's celebrating his goal, but the depth isn't great. You get some lovely depth when the players are in the middle of the park and you've got a massive gap at the back and you've got a lovely drop-off, but I'm at 2.8 look, but because he was far side of the pitch, this is at 1.6 crop, the background doesn't fall away because there isn't much of a distance, you see, but uh, anyway, so yeah, he gave some nice celebrations, joined by his teammates and he proper proper gave it gave it a good one so yeah it's lots of celebrations and uh, say so still at 1.6 crop and uh, so this is almost full frame and uh, yeah some good celebrations and uh, then the captain came up and because you can see both eyes I thought I'd send that one in so uh, and then on we go yellow card so I just sent that one in now there was uh, Bradford went 2-0 up but uh, number 17 can't remember his name now it was a, 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 a it was gonna he, he had a shot and it went wide well, it was going wide but it was badly deflected and beat beat the MK Don's keeper so wasn't much of a celebration really but he gave a smile uh, so I just sent that but it's it's much it's much of a nothing shot really but because he was smiling and it was him and you can see that it's number seventeen I sent it in and uh, just congratulating him there look but yeah heck of a deflection obviously. Didn't see it during the day, but when I got back, I watched the highlights at night, and uh, I like to do that because I don't know about you, but when you're shooting a game, you can't really take it in on what's got you. You're in the moment all the time, captioning, sending, captioning. You can't really follow the game like you can when you're watching it on TV. So I always like to get back and watch the highlights if they're on. And um, yeah, it was a heck of a deflection. But uh, and then just some of the ref. I like to shoot plenty of the ref, whichever game it is, just for stock again. Um, then MK Don scored. I was blocked for the goal, but he turned round luckily and gave me a nice roar. But um, yeah, and now, now this one, I've left this in because uh, cropping on the R3, look how waxy it's gone. I mean, it, I thought it was going to be a penalty, but it, obviously it wasn't. But, but it was a little bit of a story, uh, so I sent it in. But yeah, I've had, to cro I've had to pull it in a bit on the R3. And because uh, what am I at there? Look, I'm at so I'm fully zoomed in, and then I've had to pull it in a bit on the R3, and uh, it's just a little bit waxy look. But uh, but uh, yeah, certainly can't get away with pulling as much as you can on the R5 simply because of the sensor size. But uh, anyway, I left that one in to show you. I've got plenty of stock, but I've just I've just saved some of the good bits of stock. Um, these are quite nice, obviously, especially with the ball, um, and then. Keeper, uh, keeper, the manager, MK Don's manager, giving the fourth official a bit of stick. And uh, I don't know, a decision must have gone against him, I think. And then a bit of reaction from from the Bradford manager. I tend, want, I tend to have a minute or two on the dugout and collect as much as I can, always keeping my other eye on, on play and listening for crowd difference in noise. So I was always listening, but I always tend to just set up because the exposures can be a little bit different. Props have to knock it down a bit on the exposure compensation because when you you go into a darker area, sometimes the camera tends to overexpose and overcompensate a bit. So I just knocked it down. Just keep an eye on both managers for any reaction. Fill your boots for a minute, and as long as there's nothing too particular going on on the pitch, you can get away with filling your boots with some different reactions. Uh, back onto the pitch again. Look, just generic one of the keeper. And uh, yeah, this lad, number two, was playing quite well, so I just thought I'd get one or two of him. He was switching play and running up, up the pitch, so yeah, they were playing quite well. He was well. Um, this is 1.6 crop and hardly cropped in at all. Um, and you can still see good quality on the, the 400 with the R5. And uh, just again, just a generic stock photo of the keeper. More stock photos, look. Obviously, he was, he was the second goal scorer for Bradford, so I wanted to get a bit more of him if I could just in case the story was on him, so got one or two bits of him. But you can see again, look, he's far side of the pitch and there's not much drop off. So I thought I'd leave these in as an example of, uh, uh, we'll see in a minute and more, more, see that one, look how there's a lot more depth in that one because he's a lot, he's got a lot more distance behind him. So he does really stick out quite nicely. And uh, as opposed to that one, look, you can see he's far side of the pitch again. But, 
and this one I left this one in on purpose nice bit of action but I don't know if they, they stick out quite nicely because there is no fans in there but I still think it's a bit ruined because you think oh there's not many at that game but their feet are a bit lost if that had been a dark I left this one as an example of probably what's not to send in it's, it's all right I mean you could crop it in a bit but um, I don't like to crop feet off when I've already when I've took them when I've captured it. But yeah, could just do with that digital board being dark so that their boots would stick out a bit. But but they climb quite high, so I left that one in as an example. Quite like this one, quite balanced. You have got these two lads sort of both leaning in, and then all the action here, and he nearly kicked him in the face. Well, it looks like he did. There's probably about a foot's distance in between his foot and the head. But yeah, just quite like that. And look at his face, and uh, yeah bit of a battle for possession there that's what I usually put battles for possession or whatever and uh, just another generic one another another uh, see there's a lot better drop off there because he's he's right in the box so a lot better drop off there a lot better depth although there is quite a lot of a lot of highlights here which doesn't help with him having a white shirt on but yeah I left that one in another stock one more of the ref quite like that one See the badge, look, the AFL badge, which is quite nice. He's got the whistle in his hand. You can see his watch and he's facing me sort of thing. So, yeah, opened his body up, so that made quite a nice shot. bit more of him and then just more stock again. And quite like this one, lovely depth. Look, look at the depth there. Even with these players, there's a nice depth. And if the papers wanted to use it, they'd just cut, cut him out anyway. But he's just got quite a nice body shape, so I sent that one in. Um, this was a, a good save, actually. It's probably a little bit over overexposed there look but but um the sun must have just come out at the wrong moment just as i'm shooting but um i think it was 22 was it 22 that uh that nearly scored but it was a good save anyway so i left that in now then this is an example of nice body shape balls in frame but he's looking down i left this one in just to show you that i probably i probably wouldn't send one like this and i think i, I sent one when he'd looked up, but I uh, just thought I'd leave this one as an example. It might get used if he's if he's in if he's involved in a story, but just the fact that you can't see his eyes, just a little bit. It be it be an eight and a half, nine out of ten for me that one. But uh, yeah, if he you know he'd looked up, then uh, it'd be pretty perfect. But uh, this is quite nice. Look at the depth, lovely depth, and the colours just work out well with that black backdrop. But again, if there was lots of colour and crowd in here, I think it would still work. But uh, a shame there weren't too many fans there. But And then I, I saw this lad, always keep an eye on the fans, just for any reaction. I saw this I saw this lad cheering with the sunlight coming in on them. So just I just centred him in the composition and everyone was clapping. So yeah, the Bradford fans were really having a good sing-song. It was good. 22 here, just put in, I think he'd saved it again. Another good save. And I'm thinking, that's two saves he's already made. I best send these in just in case the story is that he keeps him in the game sort of thing, you know. So, uh, and another shot here, and then a wider angle of the same shot. Another shot, and th this is the save. So he had a shot, and uh, he made a good save. Another good save, put it round the corner of the post, which was good, and out for a corner, so that was good. Bit more of a generic. Yeah, there's more here, look. So another, another stock image there, another one there of the keeper. And uh, again... Nice bit of action, but they're sort of lost look. You've almost lost his sock there in that white lettering. And uh, because they're the far side of the pitch again, there's not an awful lot of depth, but I thought I'd leave that one in. There's probably one that's okay to send, but not great. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd lose that as an example. And that's a much better drop-off look because he's in the centre of the pitch. Much better depth, but uh, left that one in just to show you. And then he, he had a blind. I think he got... Bradford player of the match I think so I was I was hosing him down obviously he was the goal scorer as well for the first goal so he was clearing the ball defending really well and uh, yeah so I, I left that one in and then just more more uh, generic stock photos more back onto the the dugout for a couple of minutes just to get some more reaction and he was he was actually looking at the subs warming up right in front of me in the corner and uh, he was obviously saying, come on, time for you to come on. So, so uh, yeah, got some nice stuff of him looking almost straight down the lens. So that was nice. And then a bit of a thumbs up. And uh, more stock imagery. Another one stock imagery. Obviously, you could cut that out. But look at the depth. Nice depth there. So I like that. And uh, this young lad standing up singing. He was having a good sing song. Bit more action. And uh, this is... I left this one in to show you because I quite like this. 
He's been fouled by number 18 Lee. You've got the referee just blown his whistle, awarding a free kick. And that's a good example, I'd say, really. He's obviously reacting, look, of a picture. He's reacting here, look, look, the keeper. Although you can't see him, he's soft, but you can still see he's reacting. This image alone tells a bit of a story, so I quite like that. Obviously, you can caption it. He's fouled by, by Lee, uh, referee, calls for a free kick, awarded to Bradford after Lee fouls, and then I've, I've got him in another another image somewhere. Yeah, number 11, look, is it, I think. So, yeah, you can caption them. And a bit more sing-song. Got his sunglasses on. Now in the dying minutes, what are we at here? Yeah, look, last couple of minutes of, of second half, he, he had a sitter, number 18, and he skied it. And uh, I thought that could be a story. Misses an equalising chance in the dying minutes. And you can see, look, the fa some of the fans' reactions here. <laughs> Two or three, oh, look, and, and these here, look. And he was getting excited. They're all going, oh, you know, because they thought it was going to go in and be two all. But anyway, and then a bit of reaction, which was always good. A bit more singing. I think this is full time now. Yeah, this is full time. And he looks absolutely deadbeat and really dejected. And uh, just thought I'd I'd leave it as a widey, um, and instead of just cropping it in, just to show you can tell that it is full time. And he was going across to console him, and uh, he'd obviously worked his socks off for nothing, sort of thing. And manager comes across, applauding the fans, and then a couple of players applauding the fans, fans applauding back. Look, and uh, yeah, one to finish. Just thought I'd get try. I just had my eye on him because he was the he was actually you know the winning goal. So I thought I'd keep an eye on him, and that's it. All to finish. So yeah. Not a bad game really to set, set off the season and then on Tuesday I'm going to do a separate video but on Tuesday I, I shot, um, who was it, Derby versus Chesterfield so a bit of a local Derby really in the Carabao Cup so I'll knock up a separate video for that. I had an absolute nightmare but uh, more about that in, uh, in, in next week's video. I'll probably release it midweek because I'll have a, I'm at uh, Rotherham versus Bristol Rovers on Saturday, so I'll do a video on that as well. I'm going to try and do a video on every game I do, whether it's midweek or weekend or whatever. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll. This is obviously coming out on Friday, and then I'll keep an eye out for a, a bonus video if you like, probably midweek next week from Derby Chesterfield, and then obviously next Friday will be the Rotherham game. But uh, yeah, looking forward to going to Rotherham. It's always good there. Nice ground to work at, and uh, shame they've been relegated, but uh, we'll see how they get on this season. But yeah. Jobs are good and I hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to your comments, guys. I must get back on YouTube and, and just check out some comments from previous videos. I've, I've been a bit busy lately and I must get on with it. I don't like to leave anyone in the lurch if they've asked questions and that's so I apologise for not getting back to your comments yet. But I'll have a bit of a session later on and, uh, and get some comments answered. But uh, yeah, thanks for all your comments. It really does help out, help out the video. Loads on YouTube because YouTube's algorithm can then see that you're interested in the video and... And, uh, and getting included on the comments and that. So yeah, do keep commenting because it really does help. And if you can remember to hit the like button, I don't say that very often, but yeah, hitting the like button really tells YouTube that you're enjoying the videos as well and does help the, the channel out immensely. So yeah, hit the like button, leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy your weekend. Don't forget, put your sets up on the photography chat page on Facebook. Look forward to seeing them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Catch up next week. Jobs are good.